York, New York, New York, New York, New York. Home of the one of the well, well, one of the most fa- fashionable city in the world. Now you that they have very great, great, great scenery. Especially when I go there, to go see my homeboy that lives in New York. Uh, especially when we go downtown Manhattan, you see the lights, you see the camera, you see the women, you see uh, different restaurants. But one thing about New York, which I really want to go to when they drop the uh, the ball down every New Year's, just go there and then check it out. But Every time I think about going, it's just like it always snows around that time. It snows and it'd it be too too damn cold, and I'm used to the heat. So if I go over there, I'm like, oh man, I gotta go. I gotta go. I won't have a good time. But you, New York is a beautiful place. However, there is also a dark side of New York that people are not really talking about when it comes to car theft. So the mayor of New York, Eric Adams, is now offering uh, a certain part of uh, a certain part of New York, which is Brooklyn, New York. Um, Apple Air Tag to put inside a vehicle so they can be able to track um, car thieves. Because right now the car thieves rating for them is very very high. People going to steal their car, and pretty much park their car, come back. The residents over there in Bronx City come back and find out their car is gone. So the mayor is trying to tackle on that, and not only, and not only that, but um, of course NYPD is also trying to cr- track. The people that is doing it because I think it's they they they're assuming it's the same group of people that's doing it because it, they hitting up the same area, so they doing this as a test drive of getting each pre- people residents five hundred people air tag and see how it goes and see if they're able to track criminals. But the the crazy thing is about that is all the newest cars now have a tracking device that people can if somebody take a car they can easily track it, especially all the newest cars. So if you start driving an old car, to me I think it's good to use uh what um, Eric Adams is trying to offer to the New York's um residents of uh, that air tag, cause I think it's gonna work very very beneficial for you for for you if you still have like an old version car, but the new version car pretty much they have already a tracking device to track any car. But let's take a look at uh the local New York news. Apple Air Tags to people living in parts of the Bronx. Kareem Ali of Colchester started using an Air Tag to keep tabs on his SUV a few months ago. I just thought about like if something happens to my car. The mayor and the NYPD say it's a growing concern in the 43rd precinct where Ali lives. It is the number one city hotspot for grand larceny auto thefts. That's why Sunday in Castle Hill, the mayor announced the city is working on a plan to distribute 500 air tags to vehicle owners in that precinct for free. It's a simple air tag. Smart. Uh, it's hidden in That's a really car, smart. at a location that a person uh, is not aware of. It's an excellent tracking device. It's easy to monitor. All of a sudden, you get alerted that your car is moving. It's actually showing you in real time where the car is located. Do this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. The mayor said the Association for a Better... The city is now giving out... A nonprofit is paying for the air tags, and the city is looking for more donors to expand the program. Citywide, the chief of department says Hondas, Hyundais, and Kias are big targets. He said specifically there's been a 548% increase in stolen Kias and Hyundais compared to last year. There's a manufacturer's defect in both those orders. Officials say part of the increase is due to TikTok videos that explain how to steal and social media challenges. Definitely, there's a lot of crimes going on here about cars. Uh, people getting their uh, tires stolen. The, the technology, they everybody know how to do anything. The NYPD says officers will not have access to the tracking info on an air tag. Owners can call 911 if they realize their car is missing, and then the owner realizes that their car is missing for whatever reason. They call us and we'll look at their phone and we'll use their phone to track the vehicle. Work a nonprofit is paid. That, that's smart. And look, they always talking about TikTok. TikTok is starting to become very, very dangerous for a lot of reasons because people are putting anything uh, for people to, to pretty much to be uh, to be criminals and be thieves. Um, TikTok should also. I think TikTok should also only be used for a form of entertainment and uh, and also learning, not to be used to harm or do some harm to anyone. But that's a whole nother topic there because I did a story when I was talking about uh, a teen boy, uh, f- um, football player who recently uh, 
did a uh, TikTok challenge and and and, and did a 70, uh, 85 to 75 degree burn on himself. So I would say TikTok could also become very dangerous. But also with this marriage doing in New York, I think it's very, very smart because all the old cars doesn't have these new tracking device. It's only the newest cars. So him using the air tag, I think that's the smartest, smartest thing he should have ever done. And not only that, um, um, a little bit of caviar. I think if you are an investor, this is not invest, investment advice, but this is something I might think about doing is invest more into Apple. It seems like Apple's done a lot of good things. Apple is like uh, pretty much is, is, is taking the world by storm. Even though Steve Jobs is gone, but it seems like his company is doing some some amazing work out here. And it's something if if you're an investor, something to really really look into. It. And I'm, I'm a, I might actually look into that as well. But that's just it's just a caveat on top. It's not a best, of course it's not an investment advice. I'm just talking about what the CEO of the mayor is doing. But however, it's just that it's really good for Apple to to switch their technology to that form that you could be able to track a car. Now I know you could track your phone, your Apple phone, but the actual car, like a vehicle, very very smart. Apple, I think Apple already do. I think an agreement with I think if I'm not mistaken with Tesla, I think they are. Uh, they allow them to play Apple Music, but I think Apple needs to be on all the cars. Apple is really taking the world by storm. But the, the, this probably might help the crime rate when it comes to car thieves go down because now car thieves will know, like, wait a minute, this car may be tracked. And I like the simple fact that authorities are not able to track your information, that they got to use your phone and to find a criminal which is also good too because it's giving people privacy. And that's all we're talking about, for authority to use their judgment and to help us out, us citizens, and to make us have a peace of mind. Shout out to the mayor of New York. I think he's doing a good job when it comes to the aspect of tackling on car thieves. And I think other mayors and other cities should do the same thing, especially like major cities like New York. Cali um, oh, no, sorry. He already do New York like, at, uh, like in Georgia, Miami, uh, California, uh, North Carolina, Mississippi, like Places that they do have like high traffic of people, that that would be a really good look. But guys, make sure you subscribe to Care Culture Radio. Remember, the link is pinned on, on top of my chat and my community tab. Also, my bio. Remember, we go live each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, six o'clock Eastern Time, with my good man Prince and King and my good man New Jordan Era. Hope to see you there. I will start back going live. I'm just trying to find the right time because around a certain time when we go live. Chaos, you know I know we go live with chaos and I know some of y'all was able to see it on my page, but I'm trying to see like a really good time for me to go live just looking around, see what's the best time. But I'm probably might look around three. Three o'clock, I think that when normally people come coming out of work and want some lists on their way home. But I am just I'm just looking, I'm trying to see because I don't wanna conflict with the chaos culture radio time. That's why I want you guys to subscribe. Cause I want you actually see me live mostly on Chaos Culture Radio, but uh if you don't see me down there, I'm going to start doing live on this channel as well, back in. So, I'll let y'all know when I was doing that. Or, just make sure you have your notification bell on the right-hand side, all, all the way on. Then you'll know when I go live. But, uh, I think I might aim to 4, 3 o'clock. And, it'll probably be the same same amount of hours, like an hour or 30 minutes tops. But, I'll let you guys know. Like always, thank you guys for listening to me. Of course, I will be right back with more trending news. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.